first had my kids, I was really lonely for quite a while. Feed me and oh, I'm the jerk. That's my husband. Just talk to you or talk to myself and frankly, that's not all that healthy and my doctor has asked me to stop doing that. There's always a little bit of a, mm, just in case, I don't know, there's stuff. It's like, so, so it's not as you the geek of my neighborhood, so I don't know. Hi, this is Asha Dornfest from ParentHacks.com. I know when I first had my kids, I was really lonely for quite a while because the friends that I had before my children, even though we all seemed to be pregnant at the same time, those friendships didn't really make, they didn't really make the transition as easily as I thought they would. In the beginning, I remember um, searching for people who sort of thought the way I did, who wanted to talk about stuff. Online friends actually played a big, big part in my getting settled as a parent in the beginning. My question for you today is whether or not your online friends are as important to you as your real friends. To me, it's kind of a weird question because my online friends now are my real friends in a lot of ways. I mean, I've spent time with them and we've gone on vacations together. You know, it's not to say that I don't have plenty of friends in real life. I meet people all the time and, and I have lots of really good friends. Mostly though, I have lots and lots of friendly acquaintances. Reaching that level of a really deep friendship is hard. And it's partly, I think, because as a mother, sometimes the time you have to talk to a friend is like 6 in the morning or 10.30 at night or 20 minutes in the middle of the day for now. Obviously, none of us would have become bloggers, I think, if we felt totally fulfilled in our uh, real life friendship. This is a question I've been asked nonstop for six years. You know, do you know anybody that you talk with online? You know, and it's creepy to meet anybody online. Like, all your online friends are walking around with trench coats. Ooh. Both kinds of friendships are, are very, very important, but online friendships that where you can really lean on each other and have private conversations with and just pour your hearts out um, they're invaluable you know it's funny because I'm relatively new to the online world and it does feel more like a, a friend forum yet I probably feel a little bit more of a, of a wall than I would if I was meeting somebody at a party with online friendships you can either um, answer at your leisure, right back at your leisure. Uh, people tend to understand more where, you know, if you're talking, say, instant message or emailing and saying, you know what, I, I have to I have to break up a fight, or you know what, somebody just tore down the china cabinet. Um, and they totally understand. The problem really kicks in when your online world starts to interfere too much with real life. And I've brought along some visual aids, if you will. Um, see, now you got your family. And uh, they're always, you know, at you. Feed me and oh, I'm the jerk. That's my husband. He's not always a jerk. But then you have the online world and it can't bother you or do anything because you can just close the, close the screen and it'll just leave you alone. Sometimes I really do have to turn off the computer. And uh, you said you could just close the laptop and bye-bye. I don't know, sometimes when I turn off the computer, I sort of feel like it's whispering to me. Please respond to my email. You haven't gotten back to me in a week. What I really would like is for my real life friends to become also my online friends. I have at least one good girlfriend who lives out of state and she does follow my blog. And I say to her, God, I wish more of my regular friends would, would do that. It's so funny, I have exactly the opposite feeling because I'll go to my friends and be like, you'll never believe this hilarious story, this thing that happened to me. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, I read it already on your blog. I have nothing left to say now because that was, I kind of put it all out there. You know, that makes me think that I really would like my real friends to get online more. Sometimes I wish I could just, you know, send them a little tweet or send them a quick email and that sort of you know, works for keeping in touch. Internet friends, they're not so strange anymore. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.